This is what the elastic will look like after it is attached to the stabilizer inside the band. The stabilizer is soft enough that adding the elastic on top of it does not add too much bulk. Decide how much smaller you want to make your waistband by elasticizing it. Often, two inches, one inch each side, works well. You can draw it in more or less as desired. In general terms, the more the body curves from waist to high hip, the more you will want to stretch the elastic. This is what the elasticized band will look like off the body when taken in one inch per side. When worn, the gathered look over the sides disappears. Sew pants through the step of stitching the stabilizer into the waistband, leaving the waistband open. This is what it looks like from the waistband side. This is what it looks like flipped over to see the inside of the pants. Decide how far forward of the side seam and how far back of the side seam you want to place the elastic. A good start point is above the front dart. In this picture, the front dart is covered by the pocket. If there is no dart in front, measure over 4 inches or so forward of the side seam. A good end point is above the back dart closest to the side seam. For a 1 inch waistband, use two pieces of 1 inch wide elastic that are long enough to go from start point to end point without stretching the elastic, plus some extra for a seam allowance. With pants right side up so that you can see the darts, place a pin at the front dart. Place a second pin at the back dart. If there are two darts in back, place the pin at the dart closest to the side seam. Transfer pin markings to the other side. Pin the elastic to the waistband stabilizer at the first pin. Lay the elastic over the stabilizer without pulling or stretching it. Stop at the second pin. Pencil mark the position of the second pin on the stabilizer. Measure inward from the pencil mark on the elastic the distance you want to take in the waist on this one side. Mark this new point on the elastic. Stretch the elastic to make the new mark on the elastic meet the second pin location. Pin in place. Stitch across the width of the elastic three times to attach it to the stabilizer at the first point and then again at the second point as pictured here. Trim excess elastic. Repeat these instructions to add elastic to the other side. Return to basic instructions to finish the waistband. This is Joyce Simons-Murphy from JSM Tailoring Tools signing off for now. Have a great day.